Yo, what's up, y'all? Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can pull the hottest zip codes in your area. This is also the buyer's list hack. If you've seen my boy Max Maxwell break this down, I'm going to use that same hack to not only pull a buyer's list, but a list of hot zip codes, and then I'm gonna use those zip codes to narrow down my criteria, okay? So guys, all of this can be done using list source, couple of cents a lead. I'm gonna show you guys what's up here after this intro. I'll talk to y'all in a bit. When we're ground zero, when we're ground zero, when we're ground zero, when we're ground zero. All right, guys, so we're just gonna dive straight into this. This is listsource.com, okay? And this is where everything starts. Now, this is where I pull foundation data, okay? Now, guys, for all of you that are watching this, foundation data is high equity between 50 and 100% equity in the property, high equity over 55, and unknown equity. These are the three kinds of lists that you're gonna pull from list source, right? Now, not only that, guys, we're gonna be using the buyer's list hack by Max Maxwell to really break down this criteria, okay? So I'm just gonna take it from the top and then you guys can see me plow through this. This is gonna be super informational, okay? All right, guys, check this out. So the first thing that we wanna do is click on create your own. This is number one. Let me go ahead and move my head actually to the other side of the screen real quick. There we go. All right, now what you'll see here is four tabs. So five, I believe, no, I'm sorry, six tabs. You have geography, mortgage, property, demographics, foreclosure, and options. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is going to figure out exactly where investors are buying. This can be done in almost every single market, okay? Now, the reason why, guys, we want to know what zip codes to target, what areas to target, so that we can really, really break down our criteria, okay? Remember, guys, it's not the size of the list. It's also knowing exactly where you're going to be marketing, okay? You want to make sure that you are maximizing your marketing dollars every single time you send out a piece of mail, text message, cold call, RVM, whatever it is that you're doing, okay? So follow me here. You want to click on select criteria, right? And then the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do this by city. And I'm going to break this down for you guys, all right? So I'm in Texas, and I'm just going to showcase San Antonio real quick. Let's scroll all the way down till we get to the S's. Where are we at? Boom. Okay. And San Antonio, Texas here. We're going to add this to the criteria. So what you'll see is these numbers that are going to pop up right over here on the uh, top left of the screen. It's processing it because it's a crap ton of data. So just give it a quick minute. We have 491,688 properties, guys. That is a crap ton of, of prospects. Now, we want to narrow this down. Remember, what we're doing right now, guys, is we're going to figure out exactly where investors are buying, okay? So uh, the next step here, guys, you want to go ahead and switch it over to property. Now, most wholesalers, when they're starting out, they go to property type. And the first thing that we're going to be doing is checking out single family residential. You have so many other things you can pull here if you'd like, but let's just keep it simple for the sake of this video. Next thing I click on is equity percentage here, and I'm going to be doing between 50 and one, I'm sorry, blah, blah, between 99 and 100%. That means that these properties were bought cash money. Between 99 and 100% means that the property was bought free and clear, okay? Now here's the kicker, guys, here's the kicker. You wanna to go to last market sale date. Click on this here and it already has it broken down for you. So from 6-17-19 last year to 6-17-2020 this year, we're gonna add this criteria and boom, guys, we have 3,770 cash solds that have happened in this market within the last 12 months, okay? That's 12 months from today going back, all right? Now from here, guys, now I wanna figure out which one of these guys are actually investors. So for those that don't know, owner occupied is when you buy a property cash and you actually live there. Absentee owned means that you buy the property cash, but you lived elsewhere. Now remember, I'm saying that you bought the property cash because we are literally pulling the cash solds that happen in this area. Now, I wanna look at investors. If somebody bought a property and they don't live there, there's a 90% chance that that person is a real estate investor. So absentee owned, we're gonna click on that. You see this number drops uh, extravagantly. All right, now from trust owned properties, we're gonna exclude that, don't need to worry about trust. And for corporate owned, we want the LLCs too, okay? So there's 3,231 properties that sold cash last, within the last 12 months, that is insane. 
Now, you want both mailing and property address complete. These videos in this series are gonna come full circle toward the end. Now, both mailing and property address complete, guys, is, is gonna be the complete data because we're gonna input that data into a data management software, and I'm gonna show you guys how to decipher it and break it down from absentee owned to the property address, et cetera. It's gonna all come full circle, you'll see, okay? Now, at this point, guys, you can purchase this list. Always remember to remove your duplicates. So you want to click on this thing right here. And this list, guys, this is a buyer's list. You could purchase this right now for $71.73. Message me if you need help skip tracing LLCs. I got you all day. But, but we're not going to purchase this list right now. What we're doing is we want to figure out exactly where buyers are buying. Click up top where it says purchase partial list. Click on custom selection. Select criteria. And then go straight to your zip code. Boom. Guys, you see that right there? These are a list of zip codes, and this is the number of cash solds that have happened in that specific zip code. 78207 is our hottest zip code. What we're going to do from here, guys, we're going to email it to ourselves, submit, and I'm going to show you guys how to break this down real fast. I should get the email, like, immediately. Switch on over here. Open up this email. Group data. Group by data list, okay? Open this with Google Sheets. I always get rid of this top part right here and just exit all that stuff out. And then this is going to be hot zip codes, hot zips. And this is going to be cash solds, boom. And then we'll call this SA Texas hot zips, boom. All right, now you wanna highlight A, hold shift, highlight B, click on where it says data right here. And then you wanna click on sort range. And then from Z to A, switch this over to column B and sort. And now we have all of our data completely organized from the top zip code in this market all the way to the, the worst zip code in this market. Now for me, guys, I like to stay above 50 cash solds or more. I think 48 and 49 is a 1000% exception. So we're just gonna go ahead and get everything from 78216 and all the way up. So these are the zip codes, guys, that we're gonna begin marketing to. Now from here, what you want to do, guys, you want to copy all of this. This is going to be the next step of this process. I'm copying these zip codes. We're going to paste them here, and we're going to begin this process all over again, okay? Now, moving into this, guys, this is the first foundation list that you guys are going to be needing to grab. Hello. You can leave it right over there, boss. Thank you. So this is the first foundation list that you're going to grab for your business, okay? So check this out. We're going to select criteria. This time, guys, we're going to do this by zip code. I just ordered food. I'm super hungry. <laughs> and you want to copy and paste this zip code stuff into this little tab here, and you're going to add it. And now what you're going to see is we're only pulling data in this specific zip code. Now, you want to move over to property, and here's where we're going to begin building out our criteria. Now, guys, you can literally do this to your own liking, however you see fit for your own marketing, marketing tactics. I know some people that will add the bedroom and bathroom type. They'll do the basement type. There's a million things that you can do here. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to go back to equity, and we're going to do this between 50 and 100%. We're going to add this. So we have 111 thousand pieces of real estate now here guys we want to go back to property type for myself we're only going to be doing single family for the sake of this video and we have 105,000 records that are all high equity between 50 and 100 percent this is the first list this is the first big investment in your business right here okay and with that being said this is your high equity list right now you can purchase this list scrolling down click on purchase list and this is going to be your first foundation data all right, now, the next one, this is extremely important, okay? You wanna take the same criteria here. This same criteria, you can now click on demographics. This is going to be the next one here, okay? This is your high equity over 55. Same criteria that we have in front of us, okay? We're gonna select age, and between 55 and 64, and then between 65 and up. This is the next list that you guys are going to get. A lot of these people have already filed for seniority. Health issues happen during this quarter of your life. I hate to say it, right? 
these ones are more than likely willing to sell their property and you know a lot of them they need our help guys so we have to serve them okay so that's 37,213 records this is your high equity over 55 list this is the second list that you're going to have to download okay now Coming back to create your own list, let's start this thing all over again. We're gonna select our criteria one more time. We're gonna click on zip code. I'm gonna copy and paste those hot zips in here the same exact way. This is the next list that you will need to buy and download and archive for your records, okay? We're gonna click on property one more time. Now this time we're gonna do property type. We're gonna do single family again, but this time guys, we're gonna go to the equity percentage. This is the unknown equity list right here. All you gotta do is click on that. You have 90,000 records. Unknown equity means that list source has not deciphered whether they've paid their property off in full or if they still owe money on the property. This is a list that not a lot of people go after, okay? And this is the third list. Now, once you purchase all of these leads, you wanna archive them and you wanna make sure that you have them separated in different folders. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what to do on the next video. That is exactly how you target your data, how you pull your hot zip codes using Max Maxwell's buyer's list hack, and you pull your three foundation lists, which is high equity, high equity over 55, and unknown equity. I'll see you guys on the next video. Talk to you on a bit. I want to check Hey guys, if you like this video, go on and head over to my Instagram where I post exclusive content to help you grow your business.